guards. They don't look very friendly. Much better than the last two. We're never going to get out of this place. Look, Celia, it's just a matter of time. Papa will find out where we are, and then he'll find a way to get us out of here. You said he can't. Because of the diplomatic thing. He's ignored bigger obstacles. We just have to be patient and wait. I am not patient, Holly, and you hate waiting. Where does that leave us? With no choice, Celia. <laughs> Heritage. Listen, gentlemen. Like I said, much better than the last two. Oh, Holly, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. It's one thing short of the blame, but it has to be something to do with Grant. I should have listened to my own suspicions instead of believing him. Then you do know what it's all about. I know that Grant is involved in something, which is what this is all about. You have to tell me, Celia. Everything. If we're going to get out of this place alive, then I have to know exactly what we're up against. So no more secrets, all right? Agreed? Five minutes ago. What happened? I got smacked. But who by? You guys ready for this? Gregory. Then the guy hit me so hard I hit the ground I passed out. I'm dying. This is hurting bad. Gregory? One more piece of the puzzle. I just wonder where it fits in. I got my theories. Gregory. Who's Gregory? He's a piano player. He works here for Luke? Well, my guess is Luke is, is not his only employer. Why did he hit you? Uh, my only guess is they wanted the note. What note? Well, Luke wrote a note for me to give to you. Luke was here? Could you be here two hours ago? Yeah, well, I ran into a little bit of trouble. I had a flat tire. And, uh, uh, and then I had some other trouble because some punk down on the waterfront stole a whole box of tomatoes. So I had to chase him for about ten blocks, and when I uh, finally caught up to him, he went into this uh, tenement house down there, and there was, it's one of those places where there were five kids sleeping in one bed, and no father, and the mother didn't have any food and didn't have a job, so I said, what the hell, let him keep the tomatoes. Was it not mine? I don't care. Right. Well, I'm afraid that's the sad part of the story. You see, when I parked the truck to chase the punk that took the tomatoes, the par I parked it on a hill, and the emergency brake didn't work, and I'm afraid I lost all of the vegetables just went into the gutter. My boss is going to kill me. He's going to make me pay for the vegetables. He's going to make me pay for the truck. It's a mess. I, uh, I... Look, you have my delivery or not? Uh, yeah, we, uh, well, the other truck will bring it. Other truck? Yeah, we, well, we got a whole fleet of trucks. You know, you know how big chain stores are. Sam's Neighborhood Market? Quaint little name. We have 88 trucks. 88. Oh, I want is my vegetables. Well, you get them about 20 minutes. Uh, is, do I smell coffee? What are you after now? A hand up? I just had a really rough day, that's all, you know. If you want something to eat, you're going to have to go around to the front. And since the expo hasn't opened yet, it's a good fact that it won't be crowded. Yeah, well, can I just go through here? No. Out the way you came in and around to the front. Right. Okay, well, listen. Don't worry about your vegetables. They're going to be here all, uh, any second now. Anybody here? We'd like to order. Yes, sir. Be right there. Now, who cares how hungry they are? 
I don't even want to talk about it. After what the girls tried to pull, I don't care if they starve. So, why don't we let them? Hmm? Because we have our orders. Ida says the girls eat, they eat, even if I have to shove it down their throats. Okay. 